all right welcome back to my channel my name is gabriel um this is the two part series i am sharing with you um talking about 13 powerful tips on how to deliver an elevator pitch that the tf judges simply can't say turn down right so i've done the first part so if you have not watched it um check the description and you'll see a link to watch that and i'm actually doing this because i've gotten a lot of inquiries questions either via comments here or um through privately through whatsapp or other channels asking me to do a video on pitching and that is this what this video is about i did not i'm unable i was unable to do it in the first all at once because um, I'm using a software, a free version of a software, and it also um, gives me a limited time, so I'm unable to do it once. That is why I've broken this into two part videos. So, if you have not watched the first part, you need to go ahead to check the description button or any of any area within this video where that link appears. Click on it, go watch the part one because I've shared the first six of these tips so here we're going to talk about the last seven tips of the titan powerful tips on how to deliver an elevator pitch that the tef judges simply cannot turn down right okay so before we continue um i would like to request that if you haven't subscribed to my channel please please hit the subscribe button and put on the notification bell so that you will be the first to know each time I post a new video also like this video share it with people in your network and we'll be able to build a community of entrepreneurs across Africa um, and we share knowledge on how to grow sustain and build a business that is well and, and, and successful right okay so um, here we go we we'll go to the seven of the 13 tips the last seven of the 13 tips before we do that the last tip in the last session was explain exactly who your target audience are so you just need to bear that in mind so that it leads us into the tip number seven so explain exactly who your target audience are the people you are targeting for your with your business or your product who are they and what do they do what do they look like and how will you be able to reach them so in this in this tip number seven we talk about explain how you intend to acquire this customer so you have um you have shown who your target audience are the people you intend to target or the people who you already do target if you're existing business so in this step you need to the seven tip is that you need to explain how you intend to achieve um to get those customers business success comes down to marketing right so um if you have a marketing idea um, method technique or process of course you should have this is your chance to showcase it so you need to show how you want to track track those people and bring them to your business so you have demonstrated the type of people you want in your business you need to know you need to show how you're going to attract those people to buy your product or service and how you also intend to retain them so that they can come and buy again and again and again now gone are the days when we believe that um a, you know a good a great product sells itself so contrary to that pity maxim of a great business or a great product or service sells itself no you have to sell it today there is there are a lot of product or service that are similar to yours that are good as yours or even better than yours so we can't um, assume that your product is good enough to sell itself so please don't make that assumption entrepreneurs i mean and investors are interested in knowing how you're going to capture your target audience and then importantly i have to add here that the world is going digital so your marketing idea has to integrate digital marketing right so find a way to integrate digital marketing suitable digital marketing or a, a digital marketing strategy that is suitable for your business and of course your marketing strategy should also be tailored towards the type of people you are targeting with your product or service so enough on tip seven let's head to tip eight so the tip number eight is to explain how your business makes or will make money so this is important to investors 
or to funders because the essence of giving you money or funding business is to make sure that it's sustainable enough to either return investment or return their investment for them if they are investors or like Tony Lumilu Foundation help them make impacts all right so you need to be able to show how your business is going to do this so investors and funders put their money because they want to make a return on their investment right so that's for the investor but for the funder they want to the return their return on investment is your impact you know, the number of people you can employ the how much you can contribute to the gdp and and all of that are part of the impact they are interested in so they are they care much about how you are able to make the money that will um make this impact possible so you will need to explain to be very clear on how your business will generate revenue so this question is very very important so you need to take care and identify be very clear that's the most important i understand that before you start a business you already know how the business is going to make money but sometimes you know how your business is, is making money but it's difficult for you to express so you need to find a way a clear way to express how your business makes money exactly so the tip number nine is your to show your potential impact what is it in what is in it for the tef in the case of the tef entrepreneurs what is in it for the tef now here is the clincher on the killer pitch all right every person who gives you money for a business whether it's a family friend is either they want you to return their capital if it's an investor they want you to make to they want to make a return on their investment that means they want your capital plus extra if it is a founder like the tef they want impact okay in the society and also you understand that the tf has partners so who are also interested in something so you need to find out what is it that the people who are giving you money are interested in for the tef what is it that the tef and their partners are interested in of course you need to the tf is interested in funding um, um they, they are giving a thousand five thousand dollars to a thousand people every year since 2015 and they're going to do that in 2025 and what why why are they doing that and then they have gotten partners that is that has increased this number almost every year so you have organizations like the united nations development program you have organizations like the european union that the african development bank putting red cross putting all their money together so you need to find out why are these people putting money and you know into helping um, Tony Lumelu Foundation increase um, impact increase the number of people who are getting this grant so if you know what they want to do want what they want to achieve your goal your 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 objective or what you have to do to make your pitch stand out is to make sure that your business you identify the areas in your business that helps them achieve a fraction or two of these expectations right i hope that is very clear so this is this is it um so and, and more of this will be explaining in the live zoom class and i'm going to digress a little and tell you one now that i'll be exposing some more deep secrets about crafting an irresistible pitch all right so i'm going to be teaching how to craft a three minute elevator pitch that will grab and hold the attention of the tf judges this is specifically for TF entrepreneurs who are readying themselves for the pitch coming up um, sometime um, in August or so. So you need to know how to develop this. It's going to be a live Zoom class and I'll be hosting it um, very, very soon. No date set yet, but it's going to be very soon because there is no time to wait. So if you're an ATF entrepreneur and you are interested in this class, so click on the link that is displaying or check the description button after watching this video. And find the link to join um, the, the waiting list for that class so that's 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 by the way so let's continue tip number 10 um, on how to make um, your pitch um, a pitch that the TF judges would not turn down is to anticipate questions and answers answer the most important ones in your pitch so um, if it were a physical pitch then then I would tell you to itemize like two or three questions that people have been asking you often and on about your business or the questions that you anticipate that is very difficult for people to understand about your business and then you answer them during the pitch but in this case i'm just going to ask you to 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 itemize just one if you if your business or idea is novel there is a question there are questions that people have been asking you if you, if you are running a, a kind of something that is 
um, complicated. People do not really understand your business idea a lot of the times and you have been able to explain it. There are questions that they are asking you all of the time. There are questions that are asking you all of the time. So find the most common question and then answer it. The, the thing is, if you're making a pitch, the judges are also probably going to develop the same question. They're also going to ask the same question that these people have asked you. So all you need to do is to find a way to formulate a question around these biases that people are having around your business and then to answer that question persuasively, right? So by formulating and skillfully and persuasive answer, uh, uh, so sorry, formulating it skillfully and providing answer to tough questions about your business, you would demonstrate your proactivity, which is a very important um, leadership skill for entrepreneur. I mean, the tech investors are looking to see in a typical entrepreneur. So the 11th tip is to be very enthusiastic about your business and that very is very very highlighted. I did not highlight it but I hope I would have. I wish I had highlighted it. So be very very enthusiastic about your business. Passion is the angel oil of every business. So businesses run by non-passionate entrepreneurs die quick and investors know this. So when you pitch the judges will look at your choice of words, the, your facial expression, gestures, and how deeply you connect with your idea. So to be to be convinced that you are passionate about this on how much passion you have about your business. All right. So Barbara Cochran has appeared in all of two, all of the twelve seasons of Shark Tank. You know Shark Tank. Uh, maybe you find out about it. So, and he, she has this to say, and I believe you cannot argue with her, um, with an insightful gem, all right, regarding pitching a business idea. So here it is. He says, my whole focus on trying to size up the entrepreneur is trying to size up the entrepreneur, right? I am looking at how much wild enthusiasm do they genuinely have for their product. You can't fake passion. So that's how much passion you need to show for your business so a good technique for increasing your energy level is to add about 50 percent more energy than you feel comfortable with while making your pitch right so let's move to the next tip and that's tip number 12 is practice your pitch practice then practice then practice again all right so you have stages in developing your pitch that is learning about the pitch Developing the document, the paper, the write-ups about your pitch, and when you have developed it, you need to start rehearsing, saying them up with your words because pitching is something you do with your words. And when you have done that, you start making videos and then pick the best one. So practice, practice, and practice. And the last tip is dress to kill. Generally, um, you are judged by the way you dress. So the first impression people have about you is your dressing. If you are a good person and you dress like a rascal. People are going to see you like a rascal, not a good person. So if you want to impress the judges, the first thing you need to understand is that you will dress properly for your pitching. So that may be unfair, but you and you may resent it, but you are not going to change it. It is it is a natural human tendency. So dress to kill, dress well for your pitch. And then that's the end. I would like to conclude this whole thing. Um tip on these 13 tips on business pitching with this write up by Neil Patel. The goal of a successful pitch is to have investors begin to invest in your company. Sure, that sounds too good to be true, but it's possible. When you successfully deliver on what an investor wants, you will have a truly irresistible pitch. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed this. There you have it. The 13 tips on how to deliver a pitch that TF judges simply cannot turn down. Now, on the live Zoom class I've invited you, I'll be expanding on these tips with examples. I will show some of the mistakes to avoid while making your pitch. I will develop a pitch live there with you of two, with two or more um, business samples and a lot other things. So you can click on the link, this link, you can copy this link or check the description to find the link. If you're in Nigeria and would like to register your business, I have this offer for you so check the description also for it and i hope you enjoyed this video click on the link to subscribe to my channel